Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had discussed about the uh, a new JavaScript engine which is which was introduced in the JDK 1.8 and that is called the Rahon. And uh, we, this program we had written in our previous video tutorial. And when we run this program, then we get the output. Hello world from JavaScript and from java program basically we are trying to run javascript and this is our javascript which is kept in the src directory and from java program uh, union using round engine and we are trying to invoke this file and we get the output successfully right so if i run this then we get output this javascript is getting getting run and we get the output and here uh, i was trying to so you here instead of specifying the absolute path we can specify the uh, relative path as well so up to here you need to delete and this is your relative path so how you find what is the relative path for any file so so to specify relative path you don't need to give the project name after that you have to this file is under the src then you need to specify the src and uh, in java single slash some character single backslash some character represents escape character in java so that's why you need to specify uh, double backslash so this is our relative path and if i you try to run it then this is getting invoked and if you suffice with a single slash then you will have to give the forward slash so you can specify relative path like this also and we get the output right so now second thing we are going to see if you if you want to invoke some function from the javascript and function returns some value and those value we want to collect out over here so how we can do that so to do the same i'm going to create a another javascript file so here i'm going to create a javascript file i would say demo one and this is javascript file and here i'm going to write a function where fun one equal to function and function has some parameter a name and in this function i'm going to write a message print and print i'm going to print a message like hi uh, hi and name I want to print whatever name will be pass to this function that name hi that name and return value I am going to specify return I want to specify some string like greeting from javascript Creating from Java, JavaScript, right? This is a very small function, JavaScript function. I want to invoke this function from Java code. Then, what's the file name? File name is demo one. So you can specify here demo name one, right? Now, uh, here we will have to create object of something is called invocable invocable which is, and that you will have to import from java x dot script so most of the classes and api we have imported from the java x dot uh, script so invocable invocable equal to uh, invocable and this engine we have to type cast into invocable object and invocable which has a method is called invoke function and here you need to pass the function name and our function name is uh, made, uh, fun one right so this name we have to pass it over here and this function demands you to supply a name so I'm going to specify Sean Murphy Sean Murphy okay this method 
some exceptions so I'm going to throw it right and this guy is going to return you some result and this result you can print this function returns some value right so this result you can print it over here and if I run it then successfully I got the results from the JavaScript JavaScript is just printing hi and this name what name parameter you are passing this is going to be received by this function so that is printing hi shown Murphy and value greeting from the JavaScript is going to return by this function that we have collected in the JavaScript and that we are printing over here right so I hope you understood how to run JavaScript as well as JavaScript function through uh, Rahon uh, JavaScript engine which is introduced in the JDK 1.8 so I hope you enjoyed learning about the Rahon and that's that's all about JavaScript engine Rahon and thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial